Hi everybody, today's video is about finding out which is better for your anime glass art. Is it acrylic paints or is it enamel paints? Now I use enamel paints because I think they're thinner and they go down more opaque and also they dry faster. But I also, I think once I used acrylic paints but I ran into a few problems with them because of the pen I was using for lining. So I stopped using them and I thought the enamel paints were a great alternative. But I've never really made a side by side comparison. So today, so that I can actually advise you guys on which is better, I'm going to make a side by side comparison. This way you guys will be able to know which is better for your anime art. Is it acrylics or is it enamel? Let's find out. Today's subject will be Deku from My Hero Academia. On the left side, I'll be using acrylic paints, as indicated by the A, and on the right side, I will be using my usual testers enamel paints. I'll start on the left side with the acrylic paints, but I'm gonna mark it, since we're on a white background, in a black permanent marker so you guys can see that I'm using acrylics on the left and enamel on the right. Here's a great way to make your glass painting much easier. Use one of these, a pin nib squeeze bottle. Use this instead of a brush when using acrylic paints. It makes it easier to lay down paint because instead of layering with a brush, the squeeze bottle lays down a thick deposit of acrylic paint. So layering isn't really necessary, which saves a ton of time and makes painting the glass much easier. To fill the bottles with paint, Mix the color you need in a container or a bottle. Then use one of these baby syringes you can get from any local drugstore to take the paint from the container. After, inject it into the bottle. And you're good to go. Make sure to always have a pin handy to unclog the nibs if they get stuck. This is Pixelator J with another good idea alert. Please subscribe and... Enjoy the video. Thank you Pixelator J for that good idea alert. If you guys are into video games, please check out my son Pixelator J's channel and show him some love by subscribing. I usually start off with the blacks. And the reason I usually start off with the blacks is because if I put any other color over it, it's hard to see those colors through the blacks or the darks when you look through the glass. And I kind of bounce back and forth, blacks, lights, black lights. But I start with the blacks and then I go into the shadows. And after the shadows, I go into the highlights and then the midtones. So as you see right here, I'm doing the blacks. And there was, of course, one exception right here where I started with the midtone because it called for it. So there are exceptions. But I go right back into the dark shadows, which is right here. Although this looks black, it's not black, it's just a dark shadow. And then I continue with the dark shadows on the painting. And then of course I switch over to the highlights and the whites, which is in his eyes right there. So at this point, if there were any other highlights, I would have done it. And then I switch over to the mid-tones, which are the flat neutral tones of either his face or his hair or whatever have you. So at this point, I'm just doing his hair because it's a flat green. It's a lighter green than on his uniform, so of course I have to mix that in the bottle as you saw with the syringe. And there's a darker green right now on his uniform, so that's actually the shadows I'm doing of that darker green. Get that out of the way. And then I'll proceed to do a kind of mid-tone green on his uniform because this green is kind of like a green between his hair and the shadow. And after that, we go into his flesh tone, which is again another mid-tone because I did the shadows of his face already and any highlights that his face had. And so now I'm just covering everything else with the colors of his skin. I finish up his shoulder pads right here, and I think we can call this side of the painting finished.
Okay, so now starting with the enamel paint side, I still follow the same process or strategy that I do with the acrylic paint side, which is I start off with the blacks first or the, the, the shadows first to get those out of the way because they are easier to do and to paint over rather than painting blacks over light paints which you run the risk of having the blacks be seen through the lighter paints so you lay down the blacks first and then you go into the shadows and then switch over to the highlights with the enamel paints I mean maybe it's because I'm accustomed to using them mostly but it just, it's just flowing very well and I wouldn't say it gave me less of a problem than the acrylic paints because I mean especially with the squeeze bottles the acrylic paints were just you know easy to work with so I can't say there was a, a difference in difficulty levels but I can say that I don't know if you can see it here but I am using glossy enamel paint so the finished the finished results of the paints when they dry is they're very glossy so even on the other side of the painting <laughs> the enamel paint will look kind of kind of nice much nicer than the acrylic paint because the acrylic paint dries very you know it looks very bumpy and rough and when the enamel paint dries it's very smooth and shiny so it really gives you a nice look but of course the back side of the painting is not what we're interested in it's in the front side of the painting that we're interested in but um, still it helps to have a nice kind of you know idea of what the front side is going to look like when you see the back side looking pretty good already so here you see me following the same process I did with the acrylic paints and Lastly, for his face, I'm putting on the flesh tone because I already did the shadows and get that in there. And then I do the shoulder pad, get that out of the way. And after that, I can call this painting completely done. And here are the results. Okay, so here's the finished painting. On the left hand, because we flipped it now, on the left hand we now have the enamel paint and on the right hand we have the acrylic paint. And right away you can of course see there are some color differences. Um, that really doesn't matter because of the mix of the colors. The enamel paint already came in the colors that I wanted but the acrylic paints I had to mix. So they're not going to be the same paint so but we're not even looking at the colors we're looking at the quality I'm gonna just zoom in here right now to try to get a closer look at the quality now for me the enamel paint goes on much smoother as you can see once I put this on it was just you know much a lot a lot smoother than say the acrylic paints but the acrylic paint also goes on smooth there are some areas where it's a little crackly and that is actually my fault because I put too much water in the acrylic paints I mixed it too thin so here's some advice when you are mixing the acrylic paints to do your glass art do not water it down use the same thickness that you um, that the paint came with that helps a lot better and also of course um, what helps tremendously is using the pen nibbed um, squeeze bottles which saved a lot of time so um, if you can get your hands on those squeeze bottles you'll be doing yourself a favor when using the enamel paints there are certain things that you have to deal with that you don't have to deal with when you're using the acrylic paints namely the smell it does smell like enamel paint <laughs> and that has a strong smell also it um, when you're dealing with the paint you have to deal with the thinner with the thinner and and so on and so forth so it does create a smell because when I was using the enamel paint my my whole room smelled like I was painting the room but um, if you have a well ventilated room with a fan and so on and so forth the enamel paint isn't a problem with the acrylic paints it does take a lot of time to mix the right colors but once you get the colors there's no really there's no you know crazy smell you just put it in the bottle and get to work so for me in that regard the 
acrylic paints works and they're much more I would say much more convenient so these both these paints win in certain regards but in the end if I had to choose one although I use enamel paints more often than the acrylic paints I did enjoy using the acrylic paints without having to deal with the smell of the enamel paints <laughs> okay so that is my verdict so I'm gonna go and call this enamel paints versus acrylic paints a tie hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you for watching if you are new to this channel please subscribe and smash that notification button while you check out this behind the scenes bloopers I'll just say this is Draw Ninja KC saying I'll see you next time Wow. Use one of these. A. What's it called again? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta use one of these. A pin nibbed. <laughs> again. God. A pin nibbed squeeze bottle. Use this instead of brush. <laughs> instead of. Instead of brush. <laughs> <laughs> this is Pixelator J with another good idea alert. Please subscribe and. Oh, wait a minute.